Hi everyone, we are the Group 2 Mercury. Our topic is about adding and subtracting in teachers. I hope you learn a thing or two in this video. Without further ado, let's start. We all know how to add and subtract whole numbers, but how about we add the negative numbers? Doesn't that make it more difficult to understand? Well, as one of the first mathematicians said, if we arrive at an equation containing on each side at the same term but with different coefficients, we must take equals from equals until we get one term equal to another term. Thus, we need to understand that integers are numbers that represent whole things without pieces either above positive or below negative a standard value. There is a great deal of language related to the concepts of addition and subtraction. Addition, and, add, plus, put together with, sum. Subtraction, take away, minus, subtract, difference. A positive sum is always resulted by adding two positive integers, while a negative sum is always resulted by adding two negative integers. If you add an integer with its opposite integer, always copy the sign of the larger number and put it before the answer. The first situation is positive plus positive. And as the rule said, that a positive integer plus a positive integers will equal to a positive number. For example, positive integers 10 plus 15 is equal to 25. Another example is positive integers 100 plus 12 is equal to 112. The second operation is negative plus negative. It was said, drop both minus signs and add the numbers as if they were both positive. Then, attach a minus sign to the result. For example, negative 10 plus negative 15 is equals to negative 25. Another example is negative 100 plus negative 12 is equals to negative 112. The third situation is positive plus negative. Based on the research, it was said that we can count backwards the number line as if we were subtracting. For example, 10 plus negative 15 is equals to negative 5. Another example is 100 plus negative 12 is equals to 88. And the last situation is negative plus positive. For this situation, we can count forward the number line to the amount that we are adding. For example, negative 10 plus 15 is equals to 5. Another example is negative 100 plus 12 is equals to negative 88. Subtraction of integers can be written as the addition of the opposite number. To subtract two integers, rewrite the subtraction expression as the first number plus the opposite of the second number. First situation, positive minus positive. Normal subtraction is used when subtracting two positive integers. A negative difference can also be caused by a larger subtrahend. For example, 10 minus 7 equals 3. Another example is 15 minus 21 equals negative 6. Second situation, negative minus negative. We count forwards the number line the amount we are subtracting. When subtracting negative integers that has a subtrahend that is lesser in value, it can result to a positive answer. For example, negative 7 minus negative 6 equals negative 1. Another example is negative 6 minus negative 9 equals 3. Third situation, positive minus negative. Our educators said that the solution to this is dropping the negative signs and just simply add the numbers and would result to a positive integer. For example, 4 minus negative 1 equals 5. Another example is 19 
minus negative 10 equals 29. Last situation, negative minus positive. We get our answer to this problem by dropping both negative signs. Add the two numbers and attach a negative sign to the result. For example, negative 9 minus 3 equals negative 12. Another example is negative 14 minus 12 equals negative 26. Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you understand now how to add and subtract integers. Until next time, bye!